When you are finished with your design, you can share it with others using virtual walkthroughs. It's easier than ever to create a walkthrough in Chief Architect. Before I start my walkthrough, I'd like to plan what I want the viewer to see. For this part of the plan, I'd like to enter the front door, see an establishing shot of the living room, and then turn to a focused shot of the kitchen. Now let's start. With your plan open in a floor plan view, you can either click on the Walkthrough Tools button on the top toolbar, or you can click on the 3D menu drop-down, go to Walkthroughs, and click Create Walkthrough Path. You are now in line drawing mode. I'm going to click where I want to start my walkthrough and drag to the first place I want to turn. Then click and drag a line from that point to the next. You can always add on to your walkthrough path this way. You can also select the path and use the edit handles to adjust the spline. I would like to travel in a straight line for the first part of my path, so I'm going to select Advanced Splines in the bottom toolbar. This will give me more control of my spline. I'm simply going to select this part of my spline and click Straighten Spline Segment in the bottom toolbar. Then I'm going to unlock Control Handle Angles so I can smooth out the curve at this point. You will notice that there are two cameras at the start and end of the path. These are called key frames. Key frames define the start and end points of your motion. To help you visualize your walkthrough better, we have a walkthrough preview that we can look at. When you have a walkthrough path selected, you will see the walkthrough preview button in the bottom toolbar. By dragging the top panel, this walkthrough preview can be free floating or you can dock it to the side of your program. Now you can see the timeline of your walkthrough path, and the blue diamonds are your key frames. You can click on any key frame to see that view within your walkthrough path. You can rotate the view using the rotate handle in plan view, or you can tilt and rotate within the walkthrough preview. You can drag the green slider to scrub through your video. You can click on these black arrows to go to the next or previous frame. And you can click on these black arrows to jump to the next or previous keyframe. You can play the video from the current frame and stop playing by clicking the red square. Let's see how the walkthrough looks so far by clicking on Play Walkthrough Preview from Beginning. First off, the way that the view is rotating is relative to the path, instead of rotating at absolute angles. I prefer working with absolute angles because it's easier for me to predict how transitions will look. So I'm going to click on Define at the top of the walkthrough preview. On the General panel, I'm going to choose Absolute Camera Angles and click OK. Again, let's watch the preview. Now the camera angles are transitioning smoothly, but I'd like to see the living room more. I can add more keyframes to do that. With the walkthrough path selected, I'll select Add Keyframe from the bottom toolbar. Then I'll click within the entryway. I'll rotate this new keyframe forwards towards the living room. That will elongate the time that we face towards the living room. You can drag the keyframe to move it along your path. You can also delete keyframes with the Delete Keyframe button in the bottom toolbar. Let's watch our walkthrough preview again. Better, but the turn towards the kitchen is a little fast. And keep in mind, this walkthrough preview will have a bit of lag as it's playing, so the final walkthrough will actually be slightly faster than this preview so I definitely want to slow down this turn. I'll click on the second key frame and reduce the speed after to one foot per second. After we look at the living room, I want to turn fully towards the kitchen and then move towards the kitchen. I'll add another key frame where I want the turn to be completed and rotate the view towards the kitchen. Let's watch the walkthrough preview.
Again, keeping in mind that the actual walkthrough will be slightly faster, I'll reduce the speed for the first and third key frames to 2 feet per second. Let's watch the preview again. At this point, I'm satisfied with my walkthrough path. Now let's dial in the details. Click on the Define button near the top of the Walkthrough Preview panel. On the General panel, you can see our keyframe details, resolution, and frames per second information. For a larger video, I'll select 1920 by 1080 from the Resolution dropdown. For a smoother video, I'll increase the frames per second to 30. If your walkthrough includes rotations or faster motion, I'd recommend to go at least 30 frames per second so that it doesn't appear choppy. As an example, on the left side of my screen is a walkthrough video at 15 frames per second, and the right is the same walkthrough at 30 frames per second, much smoother. And sometimes, if I want to edit the walkthrough video afterwards in a video editing program, I'll record at 60 frames per second so that I have more frames to work with if need be. On the camera panel, you can adjust your rendering technique, lighting, and layer set. The rendering technique you choose will affect how long it will take your computer to render the finished video. For instance, if you choose physically based, be prepared to render overnight, or render different sections of the walkthrough on separate computers. Under Lighting, I'll adjust my sunlight to negative 45 degrees tilt angle and 28 degrees direction angle. And I'll choose one of my pre-made light sets, the Kitchen Living Set. Note that turning on more lights in your scene will increase render time. For that reason, I usually turn off any rope lights since they have a high number of lights. In the Layer Set dropdown, I'll choose the 3D camera view. These settings I'm using are by no means universal for every plan. It's very common to have different sunlight, lighting, and rendering techniques settings for each walkthrough. On the Backdrop panel, you can select your backdrop. I recommend a spherical or panoramic image for your backdrop, or no backdrop at all. This will prevent your backdrop from moving during the walkthrough. And before rendering your walkthrough, I highly recommend that you dial in all of your sunlight, lighting, and rendering technique settings using a full camera. So before you render your walkthrough, drop in a full camera and adjust any settings to get the look you want for your final walkthrough. And then make sure those settings are reflected in your walkthrough path specification dialog. If you would like to render only a specific part of the walkthrough, then you can drag the yellow markers, or you can type in a start and end frame. Now that I'm happy with the walkthrough and have all of my render settings the way I want, now I can click Render Walkthrough. In this dialog, you can double check your render settings and resolution. You can also set your compression rate. Compressing a video will make the file size smaller but will also degrade the image quality. I'll reduce the compression to 25%. You can browse where you want to save this video on your computer and name the file. You can also choose to save your walkthrough to the Chief Architect Cloud, which is an easy way to share your walkthroughs. Please note that you will need to have current support and software assurance in order to use the Chief Architect Cloud so make sure that your SSA is up to date before saving to the cloud, or you can simply save it on your computer, no SSA needed. In order to save to the Chief Architect Cloud, all you need to do is check the box, choose whether you want to create a new walkthrough, or replace an existing walkthrough, and give it a name. You can add a description if you'd like, too. Click OK to start rendering. If you're not already logged in, you'll be prompted to enter in your Chief Architect account logins, then it'll start rendering. 
With my render settings for this plan on my computer, it took 23 minutes to finish rendering. After the walkthrough is finished rendering, you'll be able to share and manage your walkthroughs within your Chief Architect account online. You can share them via hyperlinks, email, or embedding them into a website. Walkthrough videos are a great way to share your designs with friends and clients.